What's up, everybody? Today, we're trying a game called Blocky Dungeon. Blocky Dungeon! Uh, it looks like this game is a combination of a dungeon-crawling roguelike with Tetris. Ooh. And that seemed pretty neat, so I figured we'd try it out, going into it blind as we always do. I like Tetris. Uh, oh, it's got a quest. It's got a tutorial. We should probably do the tutorial first. That's probably a good idea. Short introduction to the game's main mechanics and features to get you started on your adventure. All right. Welcome to Blocky Dungeon. In this game, you control both the knight and the falling pieces that build the dungeon. Survive the dungeon while defeating any enemies that stand in your way. Okay. Basic flow of the game is complete horizontal lines. That, that makes sense. Uh, activate lines to power up and fight enemies. Okay. Uh, for this tutorial, you'll be using the two-handed control scheme. It uses Wasigilic... And control and shift. Okay. So so left-handed wasted and right-handed wasted. <laughs> uh, yes. Uh, so... Which would be... Ish kill? If you're gonna call it wasted, you gotta call it ish kill. <laughs> uh, as well as control and shift. Okay, this should be... Interesting. Uh, so, okay, space will continue, and I've moved my hands to those allotted keys. Yep. Uh, J and L move sideways, I to rotate, K to K lower to the engine, shift to drop instantly. So my right hand is just Tetris. Your right hand is Tetris. Openings between walls will remove any other walls that connect to. Keeping your pathway open. Okay. Place some dungeon pieces into the dungeon to create a path for the night. Okay. Okay. Well, since you're trying to create some lines, I would yeah. assume, yeah, just drop that image something, there. something like that. And then... Okay, it looks of... like it doesn't fall on its own, at least yeah. not yet. So... So I can kind of do it around, but if we're, if we're trying to make lines, we'll just do something like that. Yep. And then do the same thing on the other side just to see what a full line does yeah sure we're playing tetris oh the line pieces are short short line pieces <gasps> okay uh uh yeah, any hmm. yeah, maybe like something like that over the, yeah i like that and then that bottom wall should just delete yep yeah oh Perfect. and then that looks like a great place for that square yeah again that bottom wall should just yep. delete okay Use the Wasted to move the knight around the dungeon. Moving use up action points. Placing uh, the next dungeon piece will end the turn and you regain action points. Okay. By moving the knight around with the Wasted. So I assume it's okay. square by square. I Can wanted to see if I could... Into the barrel? Yeah, I could not move into the barrel. That was the first thing I wanted to try. Okay. So... I assume boop, you want to boop. move them forward and then just... Boop. Yeah. And then... Yeah, I like just kind of maybe turn that and stick it in that slot on the left there. Uh, it won't it won't let me do Tetris things yet, so I think it wants so. me to, yeah. Okay. It wanted me to keep keep moving my. Hey, okay. I mean it is tutorial. All right. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. Pop that in there. Hammers can be used to knock down walls or build dungeon tiles in empty spaces. Walk into uh, a wall or an empty space to use a hammer. You only start with three hammers. You need to pick up more if you run out. Okay. That's kind of cool. Use hammers to knock down a wall. Um, okay. So. Eh. Now walk into an empty space to build a tile. Walk into an empty space. So, like. Eh. No. Nah. Okay. If the dungeon reaches the top of the screen, it's game over. Try to place the dungeon pieces to complete horizontal lines. Stand over completed lines and press control to activate them. Activated lines are cleared when you step off. Okay. Complete and clear three lines. Uh, and I'm willing to bet, like Tetris, you're trying to make four lines all at once before you clear them. Uh, or probably or oops, maybe I, just... I, I, I moved the knight instead because my brain messed up. That's okay. You can so just flip it. No, I'm going to oh. wait for a square piece. There's a square piece coming. I feel it in my bones. Oh, there. True. And by feel it in my bones, I mean I can see on the right. 
Yep. So go ahead and stick that just like on the left wall. Yep. Okay. Since this is tutorial, you can just hit control and walk off, or you can make the lines bigger because you gotta make you gotta clear three lines. Uh, maybe that one will be easier. It works either way. Okay. Make it the full four. Uh, stick that in the hole. And... Okay. So and now. Control, walk up and control. Okay, so it gets the whole thing. And then when you leave, Whee! it drops that down. And it looks like you got one attack power for every line that you cleared, so. Okay. Enemies appear in this dungeon. Walking enemies to attack them. Attacking uses up attack points, or action points. Watch out, most enemies will hit back. After your turn, the enemies will move up to two spaces and attack whatever gets in their way. Try to place yourself uh, to avoid them. Okay. Okay. Boop. Oh, there's going to be enemies here. Gasp. Uh, this is a That's little ambitious, but... Eh, probably fine. Put it down and then walk over and kill him. Uh, well, that guy's got three health and I'm only doing one damage. Alright, well then make more lines first. Go put that in the, uh, in the far left wall. Ow! Yeah, don't forget when you place a piece that yeah. ends the turn. Ow! So if you want, if you wanted to wait, you walk away. Nah, it's oh, fine. you got you got extra power for killing yeah. them, them as well. So it's just XP, then XP gives you stuff. Normally, the knight and most enemies will do one damage per attack. Fighting back and forth this way can quickly drain your HP. You can fight more effectively by boosting your attack power. Each completed line you activate will add one to your attack power. The big number in orange indicates how much damage you'll deal on the next attack. Note that ending your turn resets your attack power. I know. Okay. Activate lines and deal three plus damage to an enemy in one attack. Okay. So then you'll want to make a minimum of two lines. Uh, you just go ahead and slap it down there. Just like it seems a little wasteful, but you know. I mean, it's it's tutorial. It's specifically built so that you can make three lines out of this, I think. Uh, boop. So, I only need the, are, are those two lines, right? So. Cause you only need those two lines to get uh, to get the three power. There you go. So now I hit control, walk up towards the bat and stab it. I suppose you could kill either one with that, but yeah. Oh. Look, I indirectly killed that guy by completing the line that he was on, and he disappeared. So, you know, total victory. <laughs> Normally, your attack power is reset after one attack, but if you attack an enemy with an attack power exactly equal to their HP, you'll perform a perfect strike. With a perfect strike, you'll not only keep your attack power, but it'll go up by one. If you plan carefully, you can defeat multiple enemies quickly. Okay. Get two perfect strikes in a row. Well, so first thing first, you gotta make more lines, and you gotta make more enemies available to you. I'd rotate that so he's, yeah, up there. Uh, I have a hammer. It's fine. Oh well. Oh, he broke. Oh, there's a potion. Neat. And that's literally all you'll need is if you do that. Actually, you're going to end up with too much power. Yeah. Uh, and all of these guys are on the same level as me, so if I, like, wipe it out to get power, then... But what if they... What, what, what will the XP potion do? I don't know. Grab it. Uh, it leveled me up, but I was hoping it would also level my attack power by one so that I could... Uh, well... Then, then stab the mouse once and then walk away. Now walk away and go stab the 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 other one once. What was that doing? Because the next time that you hit that mouse, it'll be a perfect strike. All right. So now uh, go over and stab the mouse, which will perfect strike it. 
giving okay. you two attack powers, you can perfect strike the other one. I, I don't know if it, I, I didn't wasn't sure if it counted as a perfect strike if you know. No, but you ran out of that. But I forgot about the I forgot about AP. Oh. Take that, perfect you strike. Two, you gotta get two perfect strikes in a row though. Uh, well, I can perfect strike him pretty easily. I just gotta find someone else. Well. <laughs> <laughs> this is uh this is going well. We're 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 really nailing it here. There you go, that'll be perfect. So turn what I would do is move move the knight over towards that hole. Uh, yeah, up 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 two more. And then rotate it so that the mouse is pointing towards you. Yep. And then just drop it. That'll end of the turn. And now you can stab him for a perfect strike. And then walk over and perfect strike the other one. Same turn. Call according to plan. Yeah. How many enemies can you kill in one turn? Barely two. <laughs> nice. uh, each enemy you kill earns you experience points. Killing more than one enemy turns into a kill combo. As your kill combo increases, the XP you earn does too. Once your XP bar fills completely, you level up. Your HP and AP will be refilled to its maximum, and HP and AP will increase. Fight enemies until you level up. But I've already leveled up. Nah, I reset. <laughs> All right. I have a plan. Oh, okay. get a so you can number. you can you can yeah. get a combo on those yeah. two if you want right now. So I'm gonna do that. Yep. Perfect strike. AP potion. Perfect strike. And then and now you can you should be able to keep playing. Victory. One. Let's see if we can't find a two somewhere. Remember oh, that got enemies are gonna move two spaces when you end there when you're in your turn. Ooh. Oh, that block is a little weird. I don't don't forget you can yeah. you can just put that there and then go walk yeah. in that hole. But that hole is meaningless until we got the line piece next turn. Oh, you got a free one anyway, it looks like. No, it, it's, it's, it's a hole. Um, just gonna keep, keep placing things for a second. Okay. So now, if I go boom, boom... Boom. Uh, uh, what me... you could? Yeah, I was gonna say if I don't. Yeah, make sure you get closer, uh, so you can, you know, get there in one step. I'm trying to figure out where I can place myself. Where if I end my turn, once they all move, I can not get hit and then reach the one guy before anything else. I can go one, two, three. It's gonna be tricky. Um, uh, if I go one to the right and end my turn, they'll move closer, and then I still have two hammers. I can break a wall. For what it's worth, I don't think they all moved two spaces. Not that we know which one's gonna move where, but. Uh, if they just move two, then I'm technically safe here. Right here, yeah. So go ahead and uh, drop that and see what happens. Okay. Oh, they, they did not move the way I expected them to. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then uh, level zero. enough to level up. Perfect. 
Uh, a curse afflicts those who delve in the dungeon. Each turn that goes by, if no enemies were killed, the curse meter, meter will increase a little. Once it fills, you take damage. Killing enemies decreases the curse, and kill combos decrease it further. Keep killing enemies to survive. Oh, oh boy. After enough turns pass, the dungeon level will increase. With each dungeon level, enemies will spawn with more HP. Boost your attack power to survive against increasingly sturdy enemies. Watch your curse meter and survive until dungeon level three. Okay. Okay. Well, that's easy enough. Oops. Uh, my that's brain. fine. Uh, I would move that to the right. Yeah, there you go. Uh, that is a level three guy there. Uh, this is a level one guy. Can I kind of break apart combos? Can I hit this guy for one to get to attack level two and then clear the line to have attack level three? You could try it. If you put that that way, it's going to make oh, yeah. two lines. Yeah, that, that, that is that, true. That's okay. Look, I don't have to perfect hit that second guy. Whatever, that's true. man. So uh, this is probably be a good thing to test anyway. So I'd say go up and stab him. And then hit the control and see if it'll clear the line. It's okay, yeah. So you can do it that way. So then you can go and stab him and kill him. Then take his space and clear down the dungeon. Okay. Uh, sure, I'd probably, sure. yep, yeah, put that right over there. I should just clear those two walls, yep. Let's see. Uh, I like that, honestly. It's a little spicy because you don't have anything to immediately put in that corner, but I think that should be okay. Honestly, yeah, I'd put that there and then put the L on the right. Uh, and, then, and then you can combo kill those two. Uh, but that tentacle's gonna move and get me, isn't he? Uh, maybe. Ten tentacle isn't moving. Uh, I dungeon level up. Mm hmm. I gotta do it. Now you gotta do it again. So that means new enemies will spawn stronger. So, yeah, so if you okay, drop so that there. I'm gonna put that there. So now I'm going to can... clear the line and then kill rat and then tentacle. Correct. And I'd honestly, I'd go all the way to the corners. You can grab that shield, whatever that is. Oh yeah, extra health. Perfect. And you should have just enough AP to kill the tentacle. All right. And then we leveled up and then that got me my strength or my stamina back. Yep. So you can actually so... go. Per, uh, kill the rat as well. Since I have the stamina to do so, I'll go around the wall. Okay. That's not bad. Um, that's about all, I think that's about all you can do there. Well, since I have enough stamina, let me get a little closer to this thing. Okay. Uh, maybe like there. I don't want to get there. too, too close. You can rotate it so that the... No. Mouse is in whichever piece you'd like, but that works just fine. Uh, uh, yeah, that can work there. Yeah, unfortunately, it's the wrong L piece coming up. It is, but you'll get you'll get a line piece after that. Uh, okay, this this bass gonna be coming for me. If I move there, he can't reach me. Correct. Then he could slap that. Yep, yeah, just like that. There or left. there? Yep. Actually, Let's I think go. I like there. Yep. And then you can put your line piece on the right, and you'll get the T piece that goes after it. So I just kind of yep. scooch my way and just... Uh, uh, the T piece over on that same side. Okay, are we going for a super big, big angry combo then? Uh, you... Let's say we won't be getting any perfects, but... Um... Unfortunately, with the yeah. AP that you have, I don't think that perfect is the way to go. In fact, you could you could just drop the bat and the mouse and super murder the, the tentacle by doing it this way. And actually, you can kill the bat 
and then go kill the... Oh, it's for the next attack. That's right. Uh, hmm. that a... Yeah, because we didn't perfect strike. Right. I forgot immediately. That's right. We're doing okay. Uh, you can go break the box if you want. <laughs> but then you'll run out of spaces to move. Oh, that does give you... Okay, you don't get any rewards for doing that. Okay. That's... It looks like. It also looks like the tentacles don't move, so... Tentacles are sturdy, but they're... Not so dangerous. And then dungeon oh. level three. All right. But then that's the tutorial. Yeah. So, all right. Reach the golden exit that's about to appear to embark on your journey. Okay. So just keep... It's going to make you keep going until the golden exit shows up. The exit so is that's in how, sight. That's how you'll get out of here. Which you could just leave. Depending on how you place that piece down. Um. It's true. If you want to just leave. I mean, yeah, well, it's the, t the tutorial, but like I'll okay. I'll still put it like this. So I gotta I gotta do some rat fights. Well, or you could break a wall. Okay. I mean, if you want to be like that about it. <laughs> no, I'm just saying. It, it's up, <laughs> up to you. <laughs> okay. So let's uh complete some Here's quests. Some quests. Some quests. And then there's also an endless mode. Yeah. Okay. Change your playstyle and think outside the box. <gasps> the beginning. Clear three lines, defeat three enemies, place less than 12 blocks, and take less than two damage. Ooh. Okay. So it's a puzzle. Oh, look, I've already done two out of the three things. <laughs> well, yes. See, I'm, I'm, I'm nailing it. That way you can put that one over on the wall side. Make that first line. Plus there's a hammer you can just grab. Yeah. It's kind of cool. It's like I can kill that mouse right now, but I can place a, this bring, tentacle a, and then... And then get a combo. So, yeah, I grab the hammer. Um, and then go left one from there. Something like that? Yeah. I said grab the hammer before you put that oh. down. Does it matter? Uh, because when you put that down, the rat's going to move two spaces. doesn't really matter, but... Yeah, he'll, he'll move closer to me, and then I'll pick up the hammer. Okay. I just, I just mean saving saving AP. He'll be closer, so you'll have less distance to travel. Well, I figure i got to move turn. in the direction of the mouse anyway. Oh, well... Yeah, but you're spending the AP now as opposed to next turn. Now, in this specific case, it doesn't really matter because they're all going to be so close. But yeah, in general, you want to try to spend the AP. Uh, yeah. Yeah, like that. Um, can you break the barrel? I forget if we've the, determined that or the not. The barrel beforehand I could not break. Oh, but maybe that was just because of... Oh, that's a stamina um, potion. I don't want to pick that, that up is. now. So if you want, I was going to say, depending on what you want to do, because you're trying to place less than 12 blocks, you could go build in the bottom right-hand corner and then put this square block on that right side. Or you could just put it right there. It works just fine. Uh, this is fine. So then I can put this here. And yep. then I can build that bottom corner, which would yep. clear the lines, and then just defeat that rat. Yeah. It'll, yeah, exactly. You'll spend... What you'll do is you'll spend... Uh, and I'll go up this way. You'll spend, so you spend an extra hammer doing it that way? Well, it's because I'm saving stamina, because I'm going to spend my stamina doing that, and then I'm going to go pick up the stamina potion. That's fair. And then it doesn't matter if I overkill this guy, because this is the last guy I have to kill. Correct. And then, ta-da. Cool. So now you're just looking for the exit, I guess. It does seem that way. Hey, I found the exit. 
Yep. Oh, and there's a goblin. Yeah, and an extra hammer. Uh, if you're just looking to get out. Oh. Yeah, there's a couple different ways you yeah. could slap it down. I'll do that, just because I can be like, I have a hammer left. Bye. <laughs> oh, at the very least, I would have gone to the middle, grabbed the extra hammer there. Well, I I presume that all of these are self-contained. Oh, that's, that's true. It could be. Well, I mean, now we'll know. Well, no, we won't know because we don't know what the, the, the default for the next quest is. That's true. Uh, defeat three slimes, take less than one damage. Not take zero damage, just take less than one. Yeah. And that take less than 25 steps. Uh, but, I, but I like to walk. I like to wander. Oh, uh, there's a rat. Which is not a slime. Uh, I can put it right here. To yeah. put him right next to me. Yep, which... which could very easily make you take damage. Yeah. Uh, if I put him over there, that would kind of keep him out of the way, at least for a bit. That's true. I see a lot of these spike traps. I wonder if the enemies are affected by those. Ooh, there's oh, a slime, but he's a... Donkey slime. He, he's a big boy. That's fine. Uh, uh I can't... Can, can I, you slide it in there? I, I uh, well, let me... You think it... Yeah. Uh, oh, I can. Haha. -ha. Perfect. Perfect. <sighs> Can't believe the rat did that. That was my favorite crate. Okay. So now we, we have a situation. Yeah, we have a situation. Correct. Uh, there's a potion there. I I can't. I, it looks like a health potion. Yeah. Uh, honestly, I would say you may have to grab a hammer and then build left. Uh, yeah. And that way we're currently yeah, puts unreachable. You safe, safe from the rat. And then we can build this here that gives us more mm -hmm. real estate. It also and technically gives you the... Ooh, it sets us up. ooh the slime. The slime's doing things. I don't know if I like yeah. it. Yeah. So now if I do this... This three clear will give me four power, which means that I can kill the slime. Yeah, you can perfect kill the slime and then just overkill the mouse. Of course, we don't know what the slime puddle does. I don't know what the slime puddle does, and he's sort it of... Says you, it, it says you can check the codex. Uh, let's see here. Codex. Oh, that is a health potion. Yep. Uh, let's see. Oh, it's probably under the... Under there, yeah. Right, goblin, yeah. bat, slime. Creature has no ill will or any will at all. Will not fight back and is quite weak. Don't think slimes are harmless. The poisonous puddles they leave in their passage might put a stop to your adventure. The poisonous puddle probably sounds like it'll probably do damage to you if you step on it. Great. Well, I'd be careful with that. Uh, Does that puddle... Never go away. Well, drop the tentacle down and take a look. Uh, <laughs> it, it, does, it, it does eventually. It does go away. It's fine. We'll just... Okay. Okay. We're in a position and we can get like a triple here. Uh... Hold on, wall one, two, three, four. Yeah, we can we can do it all. Can we? Yeah, because we have ten stamina. One to set off the line, and then two, three, four, five to move up next to him. Six attack. Mm, uh, is it attack and attack or attack and move? So, I don't know. In which case, I might not be able to do everything, everything unless we level up, and then we That's will true. get our stamina back. Let's give it a shot. Let's see what happens. Oh, yeah. We'll, we'll be able to do everything. But you only have 
one. Oh, yeah. Shucks. <laughs> uh, because 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 we didn't perfect kill. Right. Uh, well, that rat will be easy to perfect kill. Uh, not anymore. Yeah, so you can still you can still perfect oh, kill him. Yeah, I can still perfect kill him. That's true. Uh, you know what? Eh. Do it. Hammer, hammer. Oh, oh yeah. I mean, you've already, you also have to take less than twenty-five steps. Yeah. Look, I like I said I'm a wandering man, and I forgot what I was supposed to be doing. I'm just walking all over the place. Look, I'm not good at these games. I don't know if I've ever made that clear. J James is the one that's good at these, and he's not at the controls right now. Yeah. Well, that slime is going to be a problem. Yeah. But yeah. Won't he won't attack you, so, I mean, you can just set it there and live your life for a while. Uh. Yeah, I guess we just kind of... Uh, oh, yeah, you can, I wish that uh, L was the other way again. Always. Oh, then, go, then go the other way. You put that over on the left wall so you can put the L there. So you can put the small L in the little junction filling out that oh, whole corner. Wouldn't I want to put the L here? You won't, you, you, won't, you won't need to, though. Because look at, uh, the, look at the pieces coming after the L. So you can put the L in the corner. Then you can put the little L right there filling, filling that in. Okay. Oh, boy. I'm giving you room. He he won't attack you. Oh, the, the, the rat. The, the, the rat will attack me, and then I have a spike trap to my left. Yeah, he he got a situation. Uh. Yeah, I think uh, I think I have a problem here. Ah. I'm gonna place this. The rat. Did he didn't not even attack. go for the attack. Because I can do this perfect shot. The rat, which brings me to four, which means I still can't kill the slime properly. It's true. If you're willing to take another damage, you could you know poke what? the slime. I'm doing it. Because the slimes don't fight back, so. That's true. That, that's fine. Uh... Oh, that's a, that's a ghost of some variety. Precarious planks, it said. Uh, now, I, I have these li these lines blinking. That's can when you step off of them, they'll go away. But can I activate again since I made another line beyond that? Can I do it again you from here? Try, you could try, try it. Um, I, I assume that it will activate and give you nah. one point. Nah, if it even lets you activate. It's not letting me. This is... This okay. is already activated. It will have none none of that shenanigan. Okay. Uh, I mean, I assumed that if it would let you do it from there, it would only give you the plus one point. Uh, if you put that L on the left-hand side, you can get two, uh, two lines there. Yeah, I don't know what this guy is going to do. He's been just sitting there so far. Well, he only just spawned. See? Oh. <laughs> All right, well, activate and kill him. Uh, okay, now we got another slime. Which is what you're looking for. Yeah, look, just hang out right next to me, friend. You can break the barrel since it's right there. Stamina. Oh, stamina potion. All right. Uh, so you know what? I'm just gonna go three, four, five, six. I mean, that'll work. And now we I just have to start clear to the next floor. Found it. Yep. 
if you do and if you do that yeah. that should open the wall even if it doesn't you got plenty of hammers Perfect, perfect done. One star. Just, I am the puzzle master. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, let's do one more. U so I, figure, I figure endless mode is instead of puzzling, you just go until you die. Yes, I, endless mode I think is just full on roguelikey, but I feel like this yeah. is. This is this gets the. Figure it out. Yeah, this this teaches you how to do things better. Reach level mm -hmm. three. Build yeah. five tiles, perform a 3x kill combo, One and time. don't take too much damage. Uh, oh, you're new. He's low health, which honestly, that makes me nervous. Uh, let's see. Uh, Watcher. It's got an, uh, an eye for an eye won't be enough. This creature is extremely powerful and erratic movement can pose a big threat to explorers. Uh, he attacks for two damage. Okay, so He's you do not want to get hit by him. Female. And then the ghost can go through uh, walls. Can go through walls. Um, okay. Sure, sure. Um, if I put this here, this will answer the question for me. If they activate from the spikes, yeah. If they activate spikes, yeah. He chose not to walk. <laughs> uh, I have to build a uh, tile, so. Since they moved to, I'm still safe here, so I'll wait. But I was thinking about building a tile left. Or right, rather. Sure. Just because I have to build five of them. And then, you know, I'll put that here. They, spikes work for enemies. Good to know. So now, could I just be like, put you, Honestly, you should, put you yeah. here, and then, uh, well, them killing themselves on the spikes is not doing me any favors for getting triple kill combos. Correct. Eh. I'll put that there and just, but yeah, uh, just let him live if he will. Uh, I I assume that he's gonna try to go after me and then get spiked, but he's a flying creature, so maybe spikes don't do anything for him. Maybe. So oh, maybe you'll like do just, that. Yeah, we'll just build a path for him. All right, so walk away from there so he can't hit you. I'll go break the box. Uh, oh, yeah, grab the yeah, hammer. We need those because we got we to gotta build. Yeah, so then, uh, yeah, honestly, I'd, I'd rotate that so that the... Uh, I don't know if that's what you're thinking, but I don't know why. It's just, yeah, that works. It was aesthetically pleasing to me. Uh, I'd rotate that so that the spikes aren't towards the bat, just in case. But then, yeah, I'll go ahead and put that there. Since it's asking you to do kill combos, I wouldn't clear these three lines yet. Correct. Uh, him having three health is a little weird, but... Yeah, I'm going to put him off in the corner. Yeah. And try to find something with two, ideally. Yeah, that's, that's the, the hope, anyway. But I'll uh, also uh, keep having right in some, there. Some, some thick lines. Okay, the bat, the did bat not... is immune. Okay, so now if I make my way closer to these two and I put this last one down. Yeah. yeah I don't. Yeah, you should be able to kill combo yeah. and kill all three. You won't be able to perfect combo, but it should be fine. Uh, honestly, you could grab the hammer and then come back to this base. I don't know if it matters. Okay. okay. So now you can murder, murder, murder. Uh, and will it be murder, murder, murder? Because it's not, since I'm not going into a perfect. You could do, do, murder. Do I, do I murder, clear, yeah, overkill? Yeah, murder, clear. Yeah. yeah, murder, clear, overkill, and then kill. Is what I would suggest. Super overkill. Uh, and then you sh you've got enough AP to just walk around and stab the other one. Do I? You got oh, seven yeah. AP and well, I can I can. Hmm. Well, because what? Uh, well, it's just all the walls and stuff, and I don't want to necessarily use hammers because I have to build you tiles. So I'm... can just walk in the middle there. 
Those spikes are down. Yeah, but I think they go up, like, upon... No, they, they move at the end of your turn. Oh, okay. And there's your kill streak. Oh. So now you just gotta keep leveling up and you gotta build two more tiles. Ooh, money. Uh, oh, and there's a thief. Oh, it's a bandit. Yeah, that's... Potentially okay? There? Yeah. Depending? That might... Okay, yeah. Uh, hmm. uh, honestly? Oh, the spikes are there. Dang. Yeah. Um... Uh, I still have to you know what? My, my two things. Yeah, stick that in the in the hole on the right. Okay. And then you build in that bottom right hand corner. Uh, oh, and there's another extra hammer there. Yep, perfect. So you can break down yeah. the wall, build in that bottom right hand corner, which will then let you clear the line for two power. Yeah, and then... And then you can kill both of them. No... Oh, no, because... No, you... Yeah, yeah, cause... yeah, because killing him will give you plus one power. It'll overkill the second guy, but that'll be fine. So you can just walk over and murder. And then... Perfect. Uh... And you can build one more, but I would suggest just putting that L in that slot for the moment. I... Uh, would have no. gone the other way, but that works too. Uh, just because I don't know. You just want to get it done and over with. Yeah. That's an extra hammer. That's good. In fact, yeah, perfect. All right. I'm gonna go grab that hammer. Yep. Um. Uh, see, I need a another long piece. It's uh, another thief. Just kind of biding my time here. Uh, Remember, you can't bide your time too hard, or the dungeon's gonna smack you. It's true. Um, you could... Stamina potion. Oh, oh! Oh! Breaking that got you plus one attack power. Okay. So you could... So you actually could go kill the thief. Um... um if you break yeah. that wall, you can save the stamina potion. Kill the thief for perfect. Go clear yeah. the line for plus one. Which I have to go stand on. Yep. But you should have enough stamina to get back to the potion. Uh, you do lose that coin, sadly, but then uh, you can perfect kill him. Just worth bonus XP that way. Yeah, and we're trying to get to level three, so. Yep. So at this point, you just you just need to kill more things. So, yeah, put that in there. That'll open up the wall there for you. Uh... You're. You can grab. You can wait for a hammer to get that bottom line. Um. Can, can, or actually, honestly, you'll get these three middle yeah, lines. I was gonna say, can I can I just clear the three mid? Yes, I can. Okay. Which that'll be enough to overkill the eyeball. Uh, do I wait for other things to combo with, or do I just go and smack them? Mm -hmm. Uh, wait for other things. Go put go put the mouse. Or is that a bat? I can't tell from this angle. Good old bat mouse. And then look at that. Um. Uh, let's see. You can. <laughs> hmm. Uh, I'm gonna let them. Okay. So now. You can. Overkill and then just walk away from the other one. You won't be able to combo it, but... Uh, if, does killing the box count as a kill? Because in that case, I can... 
Hmm. No. I don't know. I don't know, man. Yeah. I can set I think this you're just... like super overkill. Yeah. No, I think I. But at the I same at the same now. time, I think it, yeah, because then you can kill overkill the bat, and then make sure that you're somewhere out of the way, then drop that piece down. Uh, yeah, I, got, I gotta go here. I technically didn't have to yet, and in fact, I wouldn't stay there. No, two two should be fine. But yeah, yeah. okay. Okay, so now I can perfect kill eyeball and then kill the other guy too yes make sure you go around just in case the box for whatever reason eats your <laughs> you know what <laughs> I was worried that the box was going to eat your four but I forgot that, that bottom rung wasn't part of the, the, the clearable stuff uh... oops uh, honestly, I'd grab that coin and then and then run away since you've got the AP for it, just in case. Wee. Uh, if this gives me an attack power, it does. All right, I just gotta I mean, kill one you... more thing. Yep. Uh, that guy's got five power, and unfortunately, you're gonna lose your your attack power. Uh, this is fine. Yeah, you can just keep placing. Uh, oh, is the barrel worth one XP? <laughs> uh, probably. I I don't want to put it anywhere left of this, so that way I can use the L block to finish that second row. Uh, true. So you can put it there or put it in the other corner. Uh, I'll put it here for now. I think that big orc can only move one at a time. So that I don't have to find out. <laughs> That's true. Uh, but these guys are all... Oh, the dungeon's about to smack you. Uh, it sucks that I don't have a hammer. If I had a hammer... What I could do is I can break through this wall, hit the barrel for an attack power, clear the floor, yeah, and then start start going but to town. That's very true. Um, for what it's worth, your other objective is take less than three damage. So as long as yeah. one of those guys only does... Does like look at the thief for example? Does the thief do? Um... He does one damage, I think. Okay, then what you should do is you should stab the thief. He'll counter for one, but then you can clear the floor, and then you've got your kill combo. Uh... And then you can kill him for three, kill the eyeball for four, kill the orc for five. As long as you st yeah, stay down here. Well, then you can go up and... Eh. Stab a barrel while you're at it for good measure. Oh, what are you? XP. You get a bonus level. And then once you drop that, then the door should open for the next floor. The exit is in sight. Oh, I just realized I, I walled that. <laughs> Ah, it's fine. All you gotta do is set that down and walk in the door. Yeah, that should be fine. Just... Okay, bye! So <laughs> oh, man. Perfect! Uh, yeah, it's perfect, but God, I am... <laughs> I'm not a good puzzle guy. You're not the puzzle brain. I'm not the puzzle oh. brain. James is the puzzle brain. Uh, okay. So let's, uh... I'm putting that on my wish list. Yeah. So there you go. It's a blocky dungeon. It's 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 roguelike, it's dungeon crawling, it's Tetris, it's puzzle. It's neat. It's it's a game for people that are smarter than me, but it's definitely a game for people as smart as James. <laughs> <laughs> it's... So uh yeah, uh, definitely uh, go check it out. It just came out.
and uh, it's pretty neat. So, uh, <laughs> I guess with that, we'll see you guys next time. Uh, bye bye. <laughs>